Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're talking about gatekeeping in the comic book community. What do I mean by gatekeeping? You probably heard this term uh, sometime in the comments, people talking about this. What does it mean? It's the idea that somebody needs to collect something in a certain way to be um, respected or to be accepted into a community. And it's not necessarily just exclusive to the comic book community. But I see gatekeeping in many aspects of nerd culture in general. I was first awakened to this uh, when I was a kid. Um, when I was around, I'll tell you guys a little story. When I was around like 12, 13 years old, at that time, at, well now an estranged family member, um, my father and I was, were going to our local game store. And this was when I had my fascination with Lord of the Rings. And I wanted to buy these miniatures. And I ended up playing Hero Clicks, which is how I got into comic books a lot or comic book characters a lot of the way um, and heroes was through these hero clicks and at, at this local game store which is also kind of a comic shop anyway the now estranged family member um, we usually just saw him at like family gatherings and he he said he looked at us at complete disdain and said um, I'm surprised to see you guys here you guys don't seem like you're too cool to be here. And, you know, my 12-year-old brain didn't really think much about it, but it actually really bothered my dad. And looking back and thinking about that, that was my first experience of gatekeeping in the nerd community. So gatekeeping in the comic book community I see happening a lot in the breakdown of how you should collect or whether you actually read comics or whether or not you agree that comic books should be slabbed or whether you buy comics just for the cover or I mean you can go down the list of how people think you should collect. So I recently made a video about do comic book dealers actually co collect or care about comic books and I had a couple people accuse me of coming off as being a gatekeeper. And I, I want to kind of squash that um, right off the bat. I do not ever want to be to come off as a gatekeeper in this community because one of the major reasons I came into this community was because it was so welcoming and accepting and so non-competitive in my eyes. So I spent a lot of time collecting and playing magic cards, Magic the Gathering, and, and being part of that community, going to competitive events. I, I, I brought a binder here to show. I mean, that I'm, I'm, I'm really in this. But um, it, one of the reasons I kind of pulled away from that was the competitive nature of it. And I didn't enjoy the idea that my fun and my enjoyment in something was so much tied to um, whether or not I win or lose in a game or whether or not I um, had a good experience at going to a, uh, the, the shop or the, the big convention or the big, you know, big event. I didn't want my enjoyment tied up in that. Comic books have always have been a way for me to enjoy something regardless of whether or not anybody else likes it or not. But what I'm seeing, and what I, and one of the reasons, and I should have mentioned that when I made that that comic book dealer video, was I am sensing a very strong competitive nature to comic book collecting that I didn't see before. And what happens is, is I think this competitiveness kind of bleeds over into this gatekeeping mentality of I'm doing something the right way. My books are better. My, I'm doing I'm doing it the right way. You're doing it the wrong way. Get to my level. Get to get to where I'm at, and then we can talk. Um, and man, that goes against everything I believe in when it comes to the comic book community. I think what's happen what happens is a large c contingent of the nerd community. Um, we we suffer from. Um, issues with social skills, or we we suffer with issues of wanting uh, belonging. We we are all, most of us are Peter Parker. I mean, let's just face facts. We are not the big man on campus. We aren't the the varsity uh, 
uh, quarterback on your on your on your in your high school team. We we are not that kid. We we are the kid that read comic books, that collected magic cards, that uh, watched Lord of the Rings for the hundredth time. I mean that that's who I am, and I'm assuming that's who you are. That's watching this video, and what happens is is I think a lot of the times we are the people that were cast out, glossed over. We are not the we were not the cool kids. But all of a sudden, something happened. Pop culture, nerd culture became one. It became cool to be a nerd. It became these characters that we know and love not only were for uh, us nerds reading comic books in, in, our, in our mom's basement. It became, this is the accepted thing. Everybody knows about this. We lost ownership. We lost something. And I don't know when that happened. That's another video. You know, you blame it on Big Bang Theory. You blame it on whatever. It's like, when did it become cool? I'm not really against it becoming cool. I, I just, I've noticed that um, as far as, it, it's, it's, a, it's a competitive thing. It's a, well, I was a, I was a comic book collector before it was cool. That's, that's what I'm sensing is a, is a common trend. I think what's happening is it's kind of an inferiority complex where you've spent we've spent so much time in in the comic book world in this you you, you feel ownership and I've talked about this before like you know you feel ownership of this character it's like I own a piece of Batman I I I Batman is more than just Batman to me you, you know what I mean it's that's that's that mentality and because we've chosen this path, because we've put this time and investment, not only of our time and money and investing our emotions, our thoughts into this, this idea that um, somebody can just come in and, um, you know, that just started collecting comics yesterday, they have to prove something. Or they, they, they are not, they're not... Uh, you know they're not there yet that that mentality is garbage it needs to be abolished we need to accept as many people into this community as we possibly can every single person that we add into this community makes it that much better all your comic books that you've invested in that you put your time and money into they're worth that much more because more people think they're cool the more people that are into these stories, the more people these companies want to write more stories. They want to make better and bigger movies. That That's all good. It's all positive. And if anything, we, would, we should want to share these things with other people because of how important they are to us and how much we enjoy them. I would hope that you would want to share these things with somebody else so they can, they can feel that same level of enjoyment. But so many times we get this tough guy mentality behind the keyboard. These keyboard warriors that are, um, they're the gatekeepers. They're the blockers. They're the ones that are stopping um, the noobs or the, the people that don't collect the same way that, 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 that they do. They don't see, it, it's, it's garbage, it's bull, it's bull crap. The issue I have is the people that are um, supposedly in the community that are I talk about these dealers, these flippers, these resellers. Are they just exploiting us? Are they just seeing an opportunity to make a buck, to make a quick buck on us because we're an accepting, trustworthy, um, you know, willing community? That's that's my issue. It's these wolves in sheep's clothing. Are they really true fans? And that's why I get so heated about you know these guys, these dealers and stuff because it's like. Are you even really in this? So going forward, let's just be better. Let's 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 take a step back and think. Maybe the more inclusive we are, the more accepting we are, the more loving we are, the more we share our passion with other people, the more enjoyment we share, we should share that with other people. I think that's the space we need to be in. Let's squash this gatekeeping mentality. Nobody's better than anybody else. You might have a, a cooler cooler book. You might have a better collection. But guess what? You were just that same person at one time, just getting started, just st starting to collect. 
put yourself in that in that person's shoes. Let's get rid of this gatekeeping mentality. Thank you guys for watching. If at any point in time you like this video, give the thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more. Take care.